Hola, hola, ¿cómo estamos? My name is Eve Preciado. Welcome back to Mexican Woke Girl. Today we are going to talk about one of the things that I feel I'm super passionate about. I grew up in a Mexican household, just a little bit of a background. You know, I'm first generation, so my parents are from Mexico. I was born here. However, I always remember, even growing up, worrying so much about what other people thought about me and not understanding where this came from, right? So el que dirán and just being judged and just often just remembering this pressure, right? Of just like, no, no puedes hacer eso or you can't do this or you can't like say that or there was always something being like monitored because what are people gonna think? So today we are gonna talk about judgmental ass people. And today we're gonna talk about opinions, criticism, all of those things that as people, not just in Mexican, Hispanic household, Latino households, but also in just general, you know what I mean? We grow up and we really start to realize like, oh my gosh, you know, puberty hits, I'm getting older, like I'm dating or whatever is happening. Life is just coming at you, right? All these milestones, all these things. Did you ever sit back and realize how many of those things were affected because you were afraid of what somebody else thought about you? How insane. Because everybody, there's not a person on this planet that doesn't care about the opinion of somebody else. And I'm going to tell you where that fear, I believe that fear comes from. And I'm going to also tell you why there's so many judgmental people on this earth. So let's talk about judgmental people first. So for me, I try to refrain from being judgmental. I live in a place, in a mindset that like I, I, first of all, I don't like being judged. Like I grew up kind of, I guess, quote unquote, being a little bit rebellious in that sense that like my parents were always so worried about it, but very, 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 very young. I instilled this idea that I don't care what people think about me. So my parents had to really kind of become accustomed that their only daughter was in a sense, this this kind of free bird, you know, this person that really just didn't care and, and really ultimately, you know, beat to her own drum and ultimately really followed her heart, you know, no matter what. My mom often would be like, I don't say like, I'm not understanding why you're like this, but she has learned to be accustomed to me. So it's not something that is, frighten her anymore you know I've been through a couple things that have been shocking I guess to the world you know um, I've been through a couple things in my household where my parents at first were like Evelyn like what are people gonna think and I was like I don't care because people don't pay my bills and people are not here living with me they're not living what I'm living so I could give a fuck about what people are saying you know what I mean I genuinely don't care but usually the people out here who give so much opinion, the ones that are judging other people, the ones that are watching your every move, the ones that are admiradas, you know, like, oh, I can't believe she's wearing that. I can't believe she's doing that. I can't believe, like, did you ever sit back and realize that those people are some of the most unhappy, insecure, unfulfilled people on earth? So the reason why they point and the reason why they talk is because they are so afraid of el que dirán. So they themselves are so afraid of being judged that they become the judgers in order to kind of save themselves from the spotlight of being judged. Because when you're judged and when you're living this kind of free spirited life where you really don't care what people say, the spotlight is quite large on you. People are often watching you. It's like you're entertaining because people can't believe that you're living your life, that you're loving your life, that you love so, yourself so, so much. So then you become judged. You have such a large light on you, kind of magnifying glass on you. People find the time to pull out your flaws, to find out what they don't like about you. And they want you to care about why they don't like those things. It's like, I don't care though. So why do you think I should? There's this big underlining kind of theme I think for a lot of people who are judgmental and I think a lot of them ultimately have lived a life where they have been instilled all these ideals and all these values mentally like you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that and because your worth is gonna go down and and men are not gonna like you and and people are gonna think you're this or you're gonna be considered that you're gonna be labeled that and it's like and who cares like who cares what people think who cares what you get labeled as I think people become so concerned with labels and ideals that they forget that the whole reason why we're on this earth is to find our purpose, 
to live the best life we could possibly live, to be kind, like all of these things of judgmentaling and just being this person, criticism and ripping people to shreds per opinion have nothing to do with life itself. Literally nothing. Like if judgmentalism went away right now, we would all probably be happier people. I'm telling you because I don't care about opinion and I'm the happiest I've ever been in my whole entire life. However, it's something that has been ingrained because per like DNA and as human beings, we need this concept of judging. So we do need it. We need this superpower, magic power that's in our brain that allows us to compare things, but it's not for the sake of, oh, I'm better than her because I'm not doing this or I'm better than him because I'm not doing that. This is more common, I believe, in women than it is in men. I don't hear too many men like ripping another man to shreds just because they wanna be better than him. It's very rare when you hear a man saying like, oh, I don't like that guy because I don't like how he does that X, Y, and Z or how he looks, like it's very rare. But women, on the other hand, are constantly talking about other women. They're constantly judging other women. They're constantly labeling other women. And God forbid they know something about you or God forbid you share something that you shouldn't have. Then they use, there's a lot of people who use that against you. And then all of a sudden it's like they feel that they have ammo because it's like, oh, I know that about her, so I'm better than her. And it's like, so you're comparing yourself to me? Don't forget, judgment, criticism are ultimately linked to comparison. Every time you compare yourself to somebody else, you are depriving yourself from ultimate joy. Comparison is the thief of joy. Do not compare yourself to anybody else. Everybody on this planet is on their own lane. None of us, not even identical twins, are the same individual. We're all separate beings. Why are we comparing ourselves to other people? Why are we sitting here thinking that we're better than somebody else just because somebody else's mistakes are better than mine? Like, why are you thinking that you are better than somebody else just because you're, you haven't failed in the way that they have? Somebody's failures have nothing to do with their worth. Somebody's failures have nothing to do with how high they are on this comparison that people this race that people all of a sudden are in nobody should I just don't understand it you know I've I've met so many people along the way you know and I've also have had friends along the way who I ultimately you know end up cutting ties with or whatever it may be because I feel that once somebody shows this like competition aspect of being next to somebody I don't like it I personally and one of those people that I steer away from judgmentalism. I do not, do not find it to be at all rewarding. I don't think that it's something that is healthy. I feel that you have to learn to use the superpower of judgment for your benefit, which is obviously like, oh, it's hot and it's cold. That's why you use judgment. Like, oh, you know, like danger. This is safe, this is not. That's what judgment is for. The superpower of judgment that we were instilled and given is absolutely not for the sake of thinking that we're better than somebody else. Stop caring about the opinion of others. Stop judging other people for being happy. Stop caring what other people are doing because it's none of your business. And just care about yourself, what you're doing, how you're living, the, just, the choices and decisions that you're making. Learn from your failures, from your mistakes, really understand the lessons, like really think about like, shoot, write it down. Like, oh my gosh, I messed up here. What is that? What did I learn from that so that, so that I don't do that again? As opposed to thinking like, oh, I messed up here. Oh, but what is like, what is that girl Evelyn doing? Oh, I heard she did this. Oh, at least I'm not doing that. You know, it's like admiradas. Stop being admiradas. Stop caring about other people's lives and care about yourself care about yourself the opinion of others is irrelevant you guys everybody is full of flaws everybody has concerns everybody has fears everybody is not perfect so why are we on this race to be perfect i'm not but if you are while you listen to this while you're watching this i suggest that you stop because that's the one thing that's keeping you from being ultimately happy.
I appreciate all of you. Stop. If you, if you struggle with being judgmental, whatever it may be, this is just a PSA. This is just to inform. This is just to enlighten a little bit. You know what I mean? Because as somebody who's been bullied and as somebody who's been come at it for, you know, for the sake of judgment, like people judge me a lot all the time because I'm just, I'm just out here. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm in the public eye in a sense, and I'm always kind of doing something. People kind of feel the need and find it easiest to judge people who don't really care what they think. But at the end of the day, you know, I wanted to kind of shed some light on it because I feel like, though I don't care, I ultimately feel like I wish more people did it as well. I think this world would be a significantly better place. So I leave you with that. Please subscribe, follow me on the gram, at Eve Preciado or at uh, Mexican Woke Girl. I'm so excited for what's to come. I hope you guys are liking all this stuff that I talk about. I appreciate all of you. Adios.